Hi there. Have you ever wondered what happens when your mom calls you for dinner? Well, the first thing is that you get really happy that food is being served. Then you hear your mother call you for dinner and then you can feel that you have soap and water when you're washing your hands. You can also smell the food that's coming from the kitchen where your mom is preparing the dinner. And then you walk to the table where you can see the chair and the table at which you'll be sitting and finally you taste the yummy food that your mom has prepared. How do we do all these things? Well, we use something known as our senses. All people have different senses and they include the senses of sight, of hearing, of smelling, of tasting and of touching. Animals too have these amazing senses and there are many examples in the natural world where they use their power of senses to feel and to experience and to live in the world around them. Have you ever dropped a little bit of sugar or food on the ground? If you notice, after a very short period of time, there will be ants surrounding the food. How do you think ants can detect when you've dropped some particle of food on the ground? Precisely, they use their amazing ability of smell to detect where there is food. And they do this with the help of their antennae. Yes, they can actually smell food using their antennae. Moreover, once they reach the food, then they take it up and they move along in a line. Now you must have seen those really long lines of ants. How do they move in a line? I mean, it must be difficult, right? Well, they do this using another sense that they have. Whenever an ant moves along, it leaves behind a smell on the ground. And the ants behind it actually smell this as they follow in the line. So they use their power of senses in order to carry along along the same line. Now, what other animals do you think use their power of senses? Did you know that the silkworm has an equally powerful sense of smell? It can actually smell the female silkworm from kilometers away. Yes, I am not kidding. From kilometers away, it can actually smell the female worm. Even dogs have a very powerful sense of smell. You must have noticed that dogs have, you know, the tendency to sniff around wherever they go. Why do you think they do that? Well, they do that because their way of smelling things is their way of identifying certain things. Now, dogs can actually recognize you by your smell. Just imagine you wearing a mask and entering the room. Even though the dog can see that it is you, it knows you because of your smell. And because of the very powerful and strong sense of smell that dogs have, even the policemen use certain dogs in order for them to help catch criminals. For instance, dogs can actually sniff out things like explosives or bombs or anything that a criminal might be carrying with them, or even an entire person. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, there are other animals as well that have a really strong sense of smell. Oh, hi there, birdie. Take a look at that bird. Why do you think it's moving its neck so often? I mean, you must have seen birds do that quite a lot, right? Have you ever wondered why? Well, it's because their eyes are fixed. So they can't really move their eyes anywhere to look around and thus they have to keep moving their heads so that they can see around them. Moreover, their eyes, if you notice, are on the side of their heads. Now this is not the case in terms of all birds, but many birds have eyes on the side of their heads and this helps give them a much wider range of view. And it pretty much helps them detect if there's a predator on the loose that's trying to catch and eat them. However, there are certain birds like the owl which have eyes on the front of their head. Now this gives them a better sense of distance. 
and because they have eyes on the front of their head, they need to be able to move their head quite a lot in order for them to have a wide range of view. So did you know that owls can actually rotate their head by 270 degrees? That's incredible, isn't it? Here's one more interesting fact for you. Did you know that birds like kites, eagles and vultures can see four times farther away compared to us? Yes, so something that we'd only be able to see at a distance of two meters. Kites, eagles and vultures can see from a distance of eight meters. Imagine that. It, wow, it must be a really colorful world for them all the way up in the sky looking down at the ground, right? So does that mean that animals and birds have the same color vision as we do? Not necessarily. You see, different animals perceive color in different ways. For instance, animals that are usually awake during the day see more colors. However, animals that are usually awake at night see in black and white. That's pretty interesting, right? Oh, hey birdie, there you are again. Do you think she can hear us? Then where are her ears? I can't seem to see them, can you? Well, that's because the ears of a bird are small holes and they're covered by feathers. This brings us to another really important sense organ, the ears, yes. What do ears do? They basically help to capture sound and help you hear things, right? Now, different animals have different ways in which they hear too. For instance, bats have a very sharp sense of sound, so they can hear very uh, small noises which help them catch their food. On the other hand, animals or reptiles like snakes don't have external ears. In fact, they use vibrations on the ground to help them detect where an object is. Here's something interesting for you to learn. Did you know that some animals can actually use sound signals as a way to send messages and codes to each other? That's pretty cool, isn't it? For example, just look at the langur. The langur can actually make certain sounds to help warn other langurs of any incoming danger like a tiger or a panther somewhere nearby. Similarly, birds use alarm calls to help warn other birds of any incoming danger. And the great thing is that they do it in a way that other animals don't even recognize that there's a message of an alarm call being sent across the birds. That's pretty neat, right? And on the other hand, sometimes some animals can actually use electricity to send, send, to send messages across to each other. Just take a look at fish. Some fish use electric signals to help pass on messages to other fish around them. So we've learned quite a lot about senses today. We learned how powerful they can be and the different ways in which animals use them in order to live in their environments. So the next time you go for something as simple as a walk, try to think about the different senses that you use along the way. And I'll see you next time.